Joe nil nil this afternoon against Walsall. What do you make of that? A uh, strange game for us, really. Been really good attacking and playing offensive football in, in games, and just felt a little bit off it. And on the flip side of that, we've probably created the three best chances in, in the game. So um, positives are three unbeaten at home, clean sheet. Delight for the defensive lads, on obviously the team as a as a byproduct of that. Um, and yeah, another point on the board. We can be better. We know that. Be more disappointing if we thought we played really, really well and drew the game nil nil. But we we know we've got lots of improvement in us, and yeah, we we we, we got back to the training ground and, and look forward to a tough visit uh, to Plymouth. First clean sheet at home. Uh, as you say, the players had to work quite hard. For it. I think it was thirteen corners in the end. They really had to dig deep at the back, but also create them chances at the other end as well. Yeah, um, you have to defend your box in this league. That's that's a key thing if you're going to be a, a successful side. You have to be. Uh, prepared to dig in at times when a little bit of a wave of pressure comes, um, and I thought the lads defended the box manfully. You know, if we, if we watch the game back, Alex Cairns doesn't really make a save. He doesn't have to make any save where he's stretched. You know, the flip side of that is they're keeping us to make a, an incredible stop from Ross Wallace, and certainly to get to the rebound as, as Paddy's sniffing around the front of it. Um, so yeah, on, on the balance of chances, I think Ash Hunter's chance is a good chance. Could defend him from them. Ash does everything right. Paddy Madden, you'd fancy him to, to find the target um, due to his ability and his, his knack of scoring goals, certainly with a one-touch finish. And obviously, Ross Wallace's chance. I think they were the big opportunities in the game. You could factor in the chance for Jason Holt, which I think is a good play from Wes. Um, so yeah, we've, we've created enough without being at our very, very best. Um, and on the flip side of that, lads have defended the box properly. Good to have players back today. We've seen Kim back at, at centre-half and then on the bench, uh, Dean, uh, Connor. Uh, back in back in the ball, it's, it's good to see these players coming back into the squad. I imagine. Yeah, I mean, look, we, we you know we we need our best players. That you know you need all your best players available for selection all the time. If you've got that, it makes your manager's job a little bit more difficult. It makes his manager's job a little bit more difficult because you do have uh, that competition for places and selection. But that's they're the kind of choices you want. You know, it's important that we do get competition for places because that is the. Uh, the building blocks of a successful team culture. It's been a tough uh, six or seven days in terms of the, the workload for the players. What's the plan now for the next week leading up to Plymouth? Uh, yeah, just as normal. Um, we'll, we'll build into the Plymouth game. Obviously, a bit of travel to do off the back of that because it's an away game. It's one of the, probably the furthest uh, match of the season. We've m mainly got all them out the way. I mean, we've been to Gillingham, been to Southend, been to Sunderland. Um, so, yeah, we've got them kind of ticked off. You know, a lot of travelling to do in the first part of the season before Christmas. Obviously, the benefit of that is you get a little bit more um, training and recovery time on the second half of the season because you've got less uh, journeys or less time spent on journeys. So, um, we've got to do it. It's part of the, the commitment. No point moaning about it. We're looking forward to going there and giving a good account of ourselves.